Hey guys, Mr. Backwork here. In this video, we're going to look at finding the area of circles. As we're looking at a circle, the area is the space taken up on the inside of our circle. So it's like how much stuff we could fit on the inside or on the interior of the circle. And the formula for finding the area of a circle is directly related to the radius. So what we do in order to find the area of our circle, we take that pi number times our radius squared. So let's take a look at this circle that has a five inch radius. We want to find its area. So our area formula is a equals pi times r squared. We know that our radius is five inches, so we're going to fill that in for our r value. Now when we take five and square it, we end up getting 25. So this is pi times 25. Now that would be our exact answer, but if we wanted to get a decimal approximation, then we would want to type this into our calculator. And when we do that, we get about 78.54. We do need to put a label on this since this is a measurement. We were measuring our radius in inches, but because this is an area problem, we need to put a squared on that label. So it's 78.54 inches squared. Taking a look at this example, as we're trying to find the area of this circle, this time we're given the diameter of our circle, but we don't need the diameter in our formula, we only need the radius. So what we have to remember is that the radius is half the length of the diameter. So if the diameter is 14 feet, then the radius has got to be 7 feet. So as we're looking at setting up our formula, we're going to go pi times the radius squared, so 7 squared. 7 squared is 49, so we've got pi times 49. Again, there's our exact answer, but if we had to type that into our calculator to get a decimal approximation, we'd get about 153.94, and we're going to throw our feet label on the end, but we're going to put a squared on it because this is an area problem. So 153.94 feet squared. In this example, we're given our circle, but this time we're told what the area is. It's 113.1 meters squared, and what we want to do is we want to find the radius of our circle. So remember the area formula is a equals pi times r squared. We're given the area this time, so I'm going to fill that in for my a value. So 113.1 equals pi times r squared. Now we're trying to get r all by itself, so the first thing I'm going to do is divide both sides by pi. When we take 113.1 divided by pi, we get 36 equals r squared. Now in order to get r all by itself, we're going to square root both sides. Normally when we do a square root, we're worried about a positive root and a negative root, but since we're dealing with finding an actual length, that length can't be negative, so I'm going to ignore the negative root and just take the positive root of 36, and when we do that, we end up getting 6 as the radius of our circle. That's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching.